Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core. Today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of Shopping Cart project and uh, in which uh, first of all add a new class for the file upload. Mm, I want to save product image in a, uh, by using the separate class. So add a helper class, you can say the file upload. Okay, so just copy that co code and paste it here uh, under the uh, class that is file upload. Uh, that is, okay. Uh, so understand that code for the file upload there is a need uh, i web host environment to uh, to create a folder in the root directory of www root directory in your web application project uh, there is www root and uh, by using uh, the web hosting environment uh, property uh, uh, i mean to say that web root path by using web root path you have to read the root directory that is www and the in which you can create that is images by using the combine method so use path dot combine method to create a directory or you can say to reach the directory it is the correct that is to reach the directory uh, on that path so uh, if you want to go a path use path dot combine web host environment dot web root path images and after that you can create file and file uh, stream and copy to that stream now upload file in the folder that is correct now after that you can uh, add uh, a variable of iWebHost environment in your controller section also so uh, in the product controller you have to add iWebHost environment and initialize that iWebHost environment uh, in your constructor of the product controller okay uh, because it's need um, to initialize that cons uh, to initialize that web host environment in your constructor okay uh, now after that uh, in the post method of uh, create section that is there just copy and paste it here you know that in the uh, create method create product view model is the model where your data is there uh, with the file upload control and the categories so file upload control first of all uh, and in which you can pass web host environment and selected categories i mean to say that uh, get all categories which is selected uh, in a uh, in a web browser okay now after that you have to add a new class in the view model that is a product uh, uh, post view model in the product post view model you have to add uh, four things that is the name price description and images okay so there is the four thing you have to add that is the name price description and product images so first of all delete all uh, op open pages in visual studio and uh, now open product model and just copy that uh, properties and paste under the product post view model and uh, delete id there is no need in the create section so uh, product product view model and map to your product view model in the product after that you have to uh, pass your insert product uh, repository your repository is there yeah there uh, where or uh, inserted product insert product product we have product and the list of integer type of categories where uh, you where your category id is there so uh, category id and the product will be inserted now after that selected categories and save changes so uh, run this project and add a new product in the shopping cart project products and uh, index create new the name of the product is apple so just i have a uh, some products apple macbook air 13 inch 8 gb ram 12 128 gb storage there is the title and the product price is 65 thousand and the description is there Mm, randomly it's a demo data you can insert into your project uh, for the testing purpose yeah and choose file 
from the desktop there is apple macbook okay and choose category that is electronics oops getting an error because missing type mapping configuration or the unsupported mapping okay uh, actually uh, a post a product post view model uh, to the product it's not uh, uh, doing in the auto map uh, configuration so create it so create map and just i want to say that product view model uh, product post view model uh, go to the product so source is the product post view model there is the product post view model is the source and pass to the product so there is the source so just open auto map profile and pass it here as a source and product is the destination so now uh, run it again to off the debugging uh, okay now create again do this now after that uh, I will add a compile runtime compilation package in the uh, startup.cs file after that uh, so first of all images electronics and oops getting an error again again error that is the new error uh, in a repository section uh, so just in the product um, class and does not initialize so must to initialize your property if you, if you implement your uh, middle class in a for the navigation so navigation property must be initialized so list of product category and also you have to set uh, uh, with the hash, ta uh, hash set so apple price is there and the description is there okay select uh, images for the product yeah uh, product will be added successfully and already product uh, successfully added and just when we click on the add detail section uh, got an error again uh, which is related to the mapping so just resolve your mapping uh, in a product detail view model we have a category view model and the category view model we have both category ID and the name so just add in the automapper profile uh, that is the category related to the categories only it's instead of name uh, so in a single category we have ID and the name both are there so details yeah uh, so prepare a view section for the detail just right click on it add view and select views in the model section uh, in the template we have two details and the view name is details and the model class is product detail view model so now you have to check that there there is the details so a category is not there actually so just create a some categories to the related products so div and the product category is there categories and uh, in which you have to add for loop also you have to add for each loop to do this so uh, by using if you want to uh, do this by using for loop so you can create that type of syntax but uh, for each is enough to use it here so variable item in collection that is model dot uh, categories name okay so uh, you can use a span it here and after uh, I will use uh, bootstrap in the project so I will uh, use a different designs for the categories according to the uh, design patterns so oops add the red symbol to use item dot names okay so there is the category names and in the inst uh, in the class of images so you can use uh, img tag img html tag and src is images and the add the rate of uh, product images oops images is not there in the ww root section 
so there is an www root and inside an images so uh, remove the www root folder so you can use it here at the red symbol and model dot product images yeah there is so and the width and the height uh, is 200 200 and the uh, response uh, to make uh, image class as a responsive to use class image thumbnail in the bootstrap so uh, guys thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, shopping cart for better understanding and and i will use uh, separation of concern so uh, remove the uh, product and remove any entry uh, from the controller uh, remove any model entry in the controller i just removed in the later videos and use view models only so separation of concern will be mined and uh, so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other and don't forget please subscribe my channel and like this video thank you very much for watching